Hello friends, uh, I'm going to just do another Eldridge knot. This is not a new knot, just the Eldridge, but I'm going to do it slower uh, so people can follow along better. I've gotten some complaints about me being too fast, so... Also, the two videos I have have actually different ways of starting it, and I think now I have the best way, so I want to demonstrate that one specifically. So here we go. Get your tie figured out. Now you're going to need a lot of, this is the little end, this is the big end. You're going to need a lot of little end here, so get this, you know, probably a little bit higher than you think you want it. Just a little bit, maybe an inch. Get your dim dimple on and go over. Now this is going to be a little bit different. Instead of going up and through, you're going to go to the right and then up and through. Okay? So you're, you're going to actually end up with the little end going in the back. And you get this little triangle here. Okay, now on the through the right side, go over the middle and keep it tight. This is a tight thing. And then go back and through the middle at, in the back. Okay. Okay, now we're out here. Now I'll go on the right side like this. And then go around the back. And then you're gonna take this and go through this loop right here. So here we go. Gonna go through here, and you're gonna use your fingers a little bit to tighten it and loosen it as needed to get in there like that. Okay. Now this part, you're gonna go th up through the back like this. Watch me slowly move it over there like this. Kind of tug it down a little bit like that. Okay. Then go up over the top again like you did before, and then go through the new loop. Now you made again. This is the same exact move we just did. You're just going to go through this again. And there we go. That is that is it. You know, it's actually easier than it looks. And then you take the extra and you just tuck it behind the cord on your neck. Just, just double up on them so they're together. And then you can hide that perfectly behind your collar. And there you have it. Uh, this part, see, as you can see here, my little part is a little bit too, uh, too high. You can pull it out, and also uh, you can start by keeping it lower when you first begin. But that is the Eldridge. It's a nice knot. Uh, you know, if you're shorter or if you have a long tie, you can actually go and loop it again and do another, another iteration of this. Uh, you can do that. I'm not sure if that has a different name. I've, I've seen it called a fishbone. Sure, you know, I mean, if you have that, I definitely don't have enough to do it. Let's do it again. We'll just do it a second time just to make sure we're all getting it. Might as well do it twice. Okay, once again, split out, get your dimple on, go over the top. Now usually on most knots you'll go up through the middle like this. Don't do that. Instead go up the side and then through to the back. Okay. Now this part, I did it wrong last time, I'm going to keep it a little bit lower. I'm going to make sure it's a little bit lower and tight. And I'm going to go through the back. Okay. Then you're going to go down your right side and keep it tight around the back and then go through this. Okay, like that. And then use your hands to kind of tighten it up. Keep it tight. There we go. Now do a little move where you go underneath, and then go over this right side again, and then through the middle, and then out this side. Okay, Are you, I hope you could follow this along. I hope this is clear. And get in there, and tighten it up. There. Perfecto. Yeah, like that. And now you are officially dressed for success. If you notice, this is a contrast uh, tie, which means that this part is a different pattern than this part. This is a Tommy Hilfiger tie I got at TJ Maxx for $12. TJ Maxx, best place to go for ties, in my opinion. You get all the name brands for less than 15 bucks. This is one of my favorite ties. So I hope you enjoy. Check out my other videos to learn more knots and uh, dress for success.